It's taken a long time to develop Battlecruiser 3000 AD for Mission Studios, but what the hell? See how long it would take you to develop your own personal galaxy. After over four years of development, this game is slated for release early this summer, and indications are there will be enough detail to satisfy any hardcore space strategy junkie. Actually, lumping this game into the space strategy category is a bit misleading. You actually fly from planet to planet in the massive galaxy in which Battlecruiser 3000 is set, piloting a first-person spaceflight simulator. However, you'll also be forced to draw on your experience with war games and resource management. How massive a galaxy, you ask? Well, the different planets that you can visit fill up a 5-meg database. If it sounds as though this is the sort of game that you'll start knowing that you'll never reach the end, don't worry. According to designer Derek Smart, who we spoke to as he was putting the finishing touches on the game's design, you can play this game a couple of different ways. You have missions that are planet-based, space-based, which is where the flight team comes in. You have missions that require you to deploy probes, uh, satellites, personnel, take on prisoners. You have missions that allow you to take prisoners and deliver them from place to place, or take up passengers and, and doing these things, even though they're not mission specific, a whole bunch of things can go wrong, like you might take a prisoner or a passenger aboard the ship and you might catch a virus, kills your crew, they might escape from the detention hall, damage your systems, you have to locate them, find them, etc. It doesn't just concentrate on the flight team aspects and it's not as complex as it sounds. Therefore, as you wander around the galaxy, you have complete control over what you do. You can wander around and pick and choose your fights, or you can get involved in dealing with the Gambulans, a group of uptight aliens who think the universe would be a better place if they ran it. The artificial intelligence and neural net that run the game remember what you've done. As you learn things while interacting with aliens and other commanders, the game uses the knowledge to modify itself accordingly. In addition to saving the galaxy for women and small children, you must deal with such mundane tasks as money. You must trade in order to balance your budget, and the game's economic model includes inflation and changing prices across the galaxy, depending on the stability of the local political situation. The game itself is so intricate, it's easy to forget how it looks. When Smart discusses Battlecruiser 3000's graphics, he sounds like a man who's been working on them for four or five years. Texture map, texture map, planets, surfaces, and still camera views. Every single thing you can see in, a, in any 3D flight team out there is in Battlecruiser 3000. It contains state of the art technology, and I have not spared any resource in doing that. It's completely 3D polygonal graphics. There's no bitmap cheating like the Wing Commander type series. All this completely 3D model graphics, texture map or not. Every single planet has its own entity, it's got its own characteristics, etc. I mean, as far as technology is concerned, it's top of the line. It's hard to label Battlecruiser 3000, which is sort of refreshing. It's not just a flight simulation game, and it's certainly not just a space strategy game. It promises to be a lot of different things, and it sounds as though it's going to be the type of game that you'll want to try so you can figure out exactly what it is.